Shroud Shroud Shroom presents The Sad Playground, a bear and lion production featuring Monkey and Mr. Raccoon. Nestled in the woods behind Monkey and Raccoon's house sits a sad playground. The playground consists of a solid steel merry-go-round that gets stuck in the ground when rotating, a wooden tetherball pole with no rope and no tetherball. A sturdy swing set built for two, with only one seat dangling from a single chain. A sun-worn metal slide with missing rungs, and a ride that ends in a pool of dirt and jagged rocks. A teeter-totter with a round metal beam and a lonesome loose seat. And a spot of blacktop surrounded by dirt, rocks, and scattered patches of grass. Hey, monkey. Well, hello there, Mr. Raccoon. Good day to you, sir. Raccoon and Monkey cordially exchange greetings. Rarely have the two met at the playground, yet today, happenstance brings them together. I've got a bunch of exciting ideas about how to fix up the place. Raccoon's enthusiasm flows over as he tries to lift the handlebars of the stuck merry-go-round. This merry-go-round goes around once, then gets stuck. All you need to do is lift it up, then it's stuck again. Like magic, another spin. You're right, Mr. Raccoon. This playground could use a skilled worker with the insight to manage the job. Let's meet tomorrow at 9 a.m. and bring your tools. Right on, man. See you then. Raccoon inhales deep as he lifts the handlebars of the merry-go-round, allowing it to rotate before lodging itself back into the earth. On a nippy, overcast morning with the cold dampness in the air, Monkey sits examining the contents of a shiny tool set. Monkey bought the tool set for himself some time ago, though he hasn't used it and looks forward to the day he does. After closing the toolbox, Monkey picks up a large plastic tic-tac-toe game he salvaged from the wreckage of his own childhood playground and begins batting the panels, flipping the blank panels to X's to O's then back again. Tic-tac-toe is a game best suited for another medium. Crayons and brown bags, perhaps, Raccoon laughs, grabbing a juice box from his red cooler. You're late. Where's your tool set? I've been sitting here since 8.45. It's 9.15 already, retorts Monkey rather bluntly. Chill out, Monkey. Sip a juice box. Raccoon teases, offering Monkey a beverage from the cooler. Raccoon weaves between the handlebars of the merry-go-round and jumps off. What an outstanding way to build stamina and dexterity. Raccoon grunts and lifts the stuck side of the merry-go-round, allowing it to make a single spin before getting stuck again. Oh yes, what a workout. Feel that deep burn. Well, yeah, let's get started fixing the wobble on this merry-go-round. Monkey proudly clutches his tool set, assessing the stuck hunk of metal. It'd be a lot easier to leave it as is, unless you have a solution in mind. Raccoon grins, I am Monkey's shiny toolbox. Monkey mumbles somewhat nervously. Maybe, maybe later, we or I can go on the internet and look up how to level the darn thing. Shrewd move, dude. For now, we've got a boss piece of fitness equipment. Time to focus on making some tetherball action happen. Raccoon motions toward the bare tetherball pole. Holding up the plastic tic-tac-toe game, Monkey announces, If we're gonna work together, we'll have to learn how to compromise. I'd like to mount this educational tic-tac-toe game to the tetherball pole. You want to replace tetherball on tic-tac-toe because you can't fix the merry-go-round? Raccoon chortles with a clear air of sarcasm. It'd be a lot easier for me to fasten this tic-tac-toe game to this pole than for us to find a ball and a length of rope to make tetherball happen. Using the hammer and a couple of nails from his tool set, Monkey fastens the plastic tic-tac-toe game to the wooden tetherball pole, steps back, and admires his handiwork. Throwing rocks is an excellent form of training. Aiming at these tic-tac-toe boxes requires pinpoint accuracy. This is definitely a worthy challenge, says Raccoon with glee, chucking rocks at the tic-tac-toe game and flipping the blank panels from X's to O's. Stop! You're chipping away at the plastic, cries Monkey. Stop! Stop playing games and get back to business. Let's fix this swing! The duo looks down at small chip pieces of the plastic tic-tac-toe game scattered on the ground. We can build a tire swing, Monkey whispers. There's an unused tire in the woods. I'll get it. Monkey returns with the tire to find Raccoon dangling from the chains of the swing set. We don't need a tire swing. I fashioned these chains into loops to practice pull-ups in the iron cross to build upper body strength. Monkey casts the tire down in anger. We agreed to build a tire swing. You muttered rubbish about being tired, then sulked into the woods, upset about your tic-tac-toe game, while I constructed an Olympic-style gym. Raccoon replies slovenly while hanging from the chains. I bet you can't do a single pull-up. A tire swing is a superior idea. Monkey spoke with condemnation. Superior? Ugh. That tire is covered in mud, crud, and bugs. I've already blasted my arms and shoulders. Now to stretch my legs. Raccoon darts off to the slide, leaving Monkey behind, inspecting the knotted chains. 
am I supposed to untangle your mess and secure the tire swing while you play on the slide? Monkey's visible agitation prompts raccoon's passive aggressiveness. I've contributed pull-up chains suited for Olympians. You've contributed a dirty old tire. <laughs> Whose idea is superior? Raccoon cackles standing at the top of the slide before taking a slow ride down. Well, I could add rungs to the slide, or remove some of the rocks from the landing, or better yet, pad the landing with mulch. Mulch I make with wood forged from the forest. <laughs> you want to make mulch? Raccoon retrieves a bottle from his corner before scurrying to the top of the slide, saying, The missing steps are perfect. They help me stretch my legs. The rocks are fine, too. But what this slide needs is olive oil. That'll knock the job out quick and easy, fast and greasy. Raccoon pours a generous portion of olive oil on the slide and whisks down in a flash, tumbling the dirt and rocks below, battering his body with several nicks, cuts, scrapes, and bruises. The phrase is easy peasy lemon squeezy. You don't even know what you're saying. In bewilderment, Monkey continues. This playground is totally unsafe. My kids don't like coming here with me, and I can't blame them. Monkey fills with rage and begins attacking Raccoon with insults. You're a lazy, lackadaisical, slapdash, anything goes shoot from the hip raccoon, filled with delusions of physical self-improvement. You can't even do a single pull-up. You have kids? Raccoon replies, feeling wounded and dejected as he dusts himself off and meanders in the direction of the teeter-totter. I'm here to construct a training ground to hone my physical prowess in the event that I pursue becoming a martial artist or decorated prize fighter, not to be berated with your disparaging comments. Raccoon skillfully balances himself walking from one end of the teeter-totter beam to the other. When Raccoon passes the center of the seesaw, the warm metal wails a shrieking squeak as if screaming in agonizing pain. A douse of olive oil would knock that noise out quick and easy fast and Raccoon's words trail off. Shroud, shroud, shroud. The Sad Playground End Part 1 Shroud, Shroud, True The Sad Playground A Bear and Lion Production Featuring Monkey and Mr. Raccoon Part 2 Without hesitation, Monkey picks up the conversation A douse of olive oil would knock that noise out Easy peasy, lemon squeezy Tiny droplets start to trickle from the overcast sky As Raccoon attempts another walk across the metal teeter-totter beam However, this time Raccoon falls and he reaches the focal of the teeter-totter shriek shifting balance Raccoon pops up immediately, dusts himself off and proclaims On the road to triumph there will be pitfalls The squeaking noise is key It's a superb distraction to increase awareness However, this loose seat is hindering the advancement of my acrobatic ability Raccoon addresses Monkey while pulling on the wobbly seat and looking at the toolbox. Hand me a flathead. Monkey rushes toward Raccoon. Stop! Stop! I can tighten the seat. You're gonna ruin it. One seat is better than none. The seat breaks free from the teeter-totter with a resounding snap as Raccoon stumbles backward, declaring, I did it. You ruined it, Monkey quips with a heavy sigh, kicking rocks onto the blacktop. You ruined it, Monkey repeats to himself. Now neither of my children can use the seesaw. Sure they can. The teeter-totter is now a streamlined, balanced beam good for raccoons, adults, and tots alike. Mr. Raccoon tosses Monkey the seat, then drags his cooler onto the blacktop. Incensed, Monkey launches the broken seat into the surrounding woods, yelling aimlessly into the thicket. The teeter-totter is not good for raccoons, adults, and tots alike. This playground is a sad mess. I just wanted to make a safe place for my son and daughter to play together. Mr. Raccoon sips from a juice box and offers Monkey a bottle of water along with a package of orange peanut butter crackers. I understand a training ground could be too dangerous for your young ones. I don't want anyone in your family getting hurt. Tiny droplets continue to drip as Monkey chews the peanut butter crackers. These crackers are salty. They can be. Raccoon smirks finishing his juice box. Maybe your kiddos would like to play hopscotch. I could draw a hopscotch game on the blacktop if I can find the right rock. Hopscotch is a wonderful idea, Monkey agrees. Both of my children could enjoy hopscotch together. There's chalk in my toolbox. I'll get it. Mr. Raccoon scrambles on all fours, selects a rock, and begins sketching a hopscotch grid. Mr. Raccoon, this chalk is still in its original packaging. Would you like to take the honor of? In a burst of energy, Mr. Raccoon rips into the package, spreads the chalk across the blacktop, and drops to his knees, coloring letters, numbers, squares, triangles, and various shapes, winding in a large, elaborate pattern. Oh wow, this chalk is fun and inspiring. Hey, I know. Do your kiddos like Foursquare? This hopscotch can end in a big blue Foursquare court. Nubs of discarded chalk, rocks, and a colorful winding hopscotch game decorate the blacktop as Mr. Raccoon fills in the outline of a big blue Foursquare court professing, Now I'm in my blue period. Stop, monkey wails. You're doing it wrong. Stop. You're wasting all my chalk. 
The droplets pick up and pace and increase in size, creating small rainbow color splashes and puddles on the blacktop. Blue smears of chalk cover Mr. Raccoon's brow, and his hands are a kaleidoscope of colors, although mainly blue. Excuse me? I'm doing it wrong? I crafted this masterpiece for your family, not my training ground. All my chalk is gone. You used up all my colors except for white. The white chalk lay on the ground virtually and touched alongside other colors worn to or past their halfway marks. I took advantage of the chalk design a game for your kiddos, not myself. I was happy sketching with the rock. Raccoon draws a tic-tac-toe hashtag with the white chalk, then cracks the white chalk in two and blindly passes a piece to Monkey. Bigger half goes first. Monkey puts a next in the top right corner of the tic-tac-toe grid and the match ends in cats. The pair share an uncomfortable yet no one stare, then silently part ways, heading in different directions under the falling rain. The last page turns, the book closes, and the children visit Dreamland. Good night. Rabbit kisses Monkey Jr. and Little Miss Rabbit on the forehead, tenderly tucking them into bed. Is that story about the playground at Dad's house? Monkey Jr. asks. Little Miss Rabbit giggles. Dad's house does have a sad playground. The playground at the park is tons more fun. I remember when Dad first got that tool set and you guys got into a fight over money. Monkey Jr. sits up in bed concluding, Mom, is that story about Dad? Some of the names and events have been changed to protect the parties involved. Good night, children. Rabbit turns off the light, but before she can close the door, Little Miss Rabbit asks, Mom, will Brother and I be staying with Dad again this summer? We'll figure out the end of that story as we go. I love you, children. Good night. Rabbit hears a chorus echo. We love you, Mom. Good night. And closes the door. Jose Vargas Pacas of Shroud, Shroud, Shroom presents The Sad Playground, a bear and lion production featuring Monkey and Mr. Raccoon. <laughs>